Hi everyone, this is Ty2903 back again to show you how to install Dynamic Campaign Generator. Now as you can see we're starting on our mod page here and the first thing we're going to do is download the files. So we're going to go to the Downloads tab and then here you can see we have the files for all four different versions. We've got Men of War, Men of War Assault Squad, Condemned Heroes, and Men of War Vietnam. Now I'm going to choose Assault Squad because that's the version uh, I'm going to be installing. And so we clicked on that and now you can see more info here. You can see the size of the download. You can see uh, a full change log if you click here. There's a link straight to it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click here to download the files. Fortunately I've already done this step so I'm going to skip over it. You would normally select the mirror or it automatically start downloading. See like this. So I don't need to save it, so I'm just going to cancel that. And the next step, we want to go back to our summary page. And then we're going to click here on it says how to set up tutorial. And this is going to take us to our tutorials tab. And what we need here are the links to the supporting applications. Basically, DCG is another program that we're installing and like any program it has system requirements and these are the system requirements. So I'm going to just open these up in new tabs. You'd select which version you'd want there, the 32 or 64. And so the first one is Net Framework 3.5. Uh, fortunately I'm running Windows 7 so that already comes with 3.5 if you're running older versions of Windows I think anything prior to Vista you would need to install this but anything after Vista will have it included if you have Windows 8 there are some special steps that you need to take that are listed out here so I'm not needed uh, for this step so I'm gonna go ahead and close that but just letting you know it's there in case that's what you need for your system Next is Microsoft XNA Framework 3.1. Now if you've run um, DCG before, the last version required 3.1, so you may already have that. If you don't know or are unsure, you can go ahead and download and install it. Basically you click down it here and we'll save the file. And then the last program is Microsoft Visual 2.0. And then you would click here to download, select the correct version 64 32-bit and save that to your computer as well. So I've already done most of these steps, I've already downloaded all the support programs so what I'm going to do is close this and I'm going to open up my downloads tab and then here we are we've got our Minivore Assault Squad, we've got the X and A, um, we've got uh, the 64, so we've got everything we need here and basically you would just go ahead and install the support applications, click run, install XNA. I've already done this so I don't need to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out of this, finish. You would do that for each one of the three that you install, that you downloaded I mean, you would go ahead and install them. And then once you've done that, you will unzip your Men of War Assault Squad uh, files here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open them up. I'm using 7-zip as the uh, compressing program and uh, you don't have to use it, it's just the one that I like to use, the one that we recommend. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract everything and what I need to put them is in my Minivore Assault Squad mods folder or which, uh, whichever game you're running you want to put it in the mods folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new window, go to my Minivore Assault Squad mods I'm just going to copy the address here and I'm going to paste it right in here or you could do the whole drop down menu thing but I just avoided doing all that and click OK and so that would compress it right where it needs to go now I've already done this step two so I'm going to cancel that just to save time now one note I do want to make is that my Men of War Assault Squad is through Steam I'm using Steam and I've installed Steam outside of the program file so I created a new folder for all my games. Basically if you're running your Minivore um, install and program files either one of those there's a lot of protection that happens through Windows in these folders and can cause issues. 
Uh, typically you would need to run as administrator the campaign exe if you're having issues but uh, it's just easier if you install your men of war assault squad outside of program folders you end up avoiding a lot of headaches by doing that so that's just one note to throw out there that i'm using steam and i've installed steam outside of my program folder so anyway back to my men of war assault squad install i'm going to go to my mods folder here and what i'm going to do is I'm going to go to the campaign mod and this is where everything is after everything's been extracted from our download and the first thing we're going to do is run the campaign exe it's an application it's got the little icon here so we're going to go ahead and run that and this is what you'll see for the first time is our settings it's basically how to set up so we're going to be setting up the install first you want to do is select your men of war folder whichever game you're using you want to find that folder so this is saying men of war assault squad not found so i need to tell it where my men of war assault squad is installed so i'm just going to find it here and in my games steam steam apps common yep men of war assault squad okay so that's the first one Second one is it's looking for the DCG mod folder, basically this campaign folder. So we got to tell it where that is. So we're going to do the same thing, computer, C drive, games, Steam, Steam apps, common, men of war, assault squad, mods, campaign. That's the one we want selected is the campaign. Click OK. Perfect. Now it knows where it is, it knows where the game files are. Next we need to tell it where our save folder is going to be. Typically this defaults to your documents. So I'm going to my documents, my games, <clears throat> Men of War Assault Squad, find the profile I'm using, the save, the, play, the profile, player, the save, and I like to use result because that one stands out it's a little bit different from the rest of the others it's easy to remember that one and so that's the one I'm going to select if you don't have something already here you can make a new folder create it whatever you want uh, call it whatever you want I mean and then just select it and click OK so basically what this means is when you're in a mission uh, actually playing the game and you save the game using this name whatever you chose that tells uh, DCG that you're done with that mission and it'll go ahead and read all that mission info and save it so that way it knows you know what units you have left what died in the mission uh, what happened to the map things like that it, it reads all the information from this save file so we need to make sure that is correct once you've done that you're going to extract all the maps and uh, what this is doing is pulling all the maps that normally come in your version of men of war uh, basically we don't include those in the download to save on the size since you already have them in your computer there's no reason for you to download them when they're already there so this just pulls them out puts them in the right place along with some icon files as well and then last we need to uh, set up our settings here um, basically this is uh, fuel and ammo consumption you just want to leave that turned on um, if you turn that off as it says here it can cause some unusual behavior it, it creates a lot of errors and problems. It's best just to leave that checked on. Players un player units begin with orders. That means your guys are going to have orders to start moving around on the mission. Uh, I usually don't even mess with that. Just leave that unchecked. I personally prefer my guys to be on hold position at the mission start, so I check that one. So that way my guys aren't running around and doing their own thing without me telling them to. Easy Start gives you uh, extra points. You may want to do that. I like it to be a little more challenging, so I don't check that. Uh, hard Missions uh, increases the number of enemy units that can spawn. Um, I find it pretty challenging the way it is by default, so I do not check that. And then Night Battles. I do like Night Battles, so I leave that unchecked to leave them on. And we're done and then there we are okay so we have installed dynamic campaign generator and set it up in the next video I'm gonna sh I'm gonna we'll show you how to play I'm basically gonna walk you through 
uh, setting up your first mission and then we'll do a video of playing that mission and how to make sure that you save it correctly and are able to repeat mission after mission. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.